Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here, and welcome back to Georgetown. Guys, we need to uh, get back in the field after we rolled our sprayer. I need a replacement. Toronto. Yeah, we need to get on this. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. Oh, man, guys. Here is what's left of, or well, currently left of our sprayer, the John Deere. You remember what happened to this the last time? Oh, no. Yeah, it was a, a bit of a mess. Uh, we've fixed the arms, so we managed to get this repaired. It's ready to go, but then we still haven't got the actual chassis back left. Back left? Back yet. Wow. Uh, yeah, we haven't picked that up yet, so we're still waiting on that. We've got we've got this ready to go. The sprayer is ready to go, but we're running out of, we're running out of time. You can see, well, we've got we've got stuff to spray, and it's it's coming on harvest season, guys. We need to get going here. Um, we can take care of that right away. So I'm making some phone calls right now. And I'm hoping... I am hoping that Min's got some kind of an option we can lease from him at least for a bit. Or Min's got all sorts of stuff over at the shop. We'll see what he's got. And uh, I'm sure he can help us out. Right? Yeah, he's a good guy like that. Let's go make some phone calls, shall we? And I just saw Min. He just pulled in and has already taken off already. Uh, we've got... Well, this looks like a sprayer he had towing in on here. Let's go take a look and see what he dropped off for us. Perfect. A quick little lease. And we'll just borrow this for a couple, maybe a couple days. We'll see how long we need this for. But uh, you know what? It's nice of him to be able to come along and help us out with this. So quick sprayer just to quickly take care of our fields. There it is. It's... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No! Oh, guys, come on. This has got to be a cruel prank. Tell me this is a, a joke, right? Uh, just when you think your day can't get any worse, you realize you're stuck with a Stara again. All right, well, you know what? It, it could be worse. On on the bright side, at least this one has a fertilizer spreader, so I don't need to go buy liquid fertilizer since we're completely out. Um, but still, guys, this is this is a kick in the knackers. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really feel another Stara. Thanks, thanks, man. I suppose. Thanks, buddy. It's a real kick in the knackers, bro. All right, let's see. Can we fire this thing up? Oh, man. it's It's got the same Mickey Mouse screen as the star we had. Oh, I can't stand these things. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's go see if we can at least fill this up, uh, which is our open button for that. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we've got two tanks. We've got liquid and we've got fertil uh, pellet fertilizer. Oh, this... Really? A Stara? Man, I feel like I'm... Never mind. I got nothing. I've really got nothing. We do have fertilizer over in the silo system here, at least. So we can fill this up with some, some pellet fertilizer. I am completely out now on liquid fertilizer, unfortunately. Um, that's really too bad. All right, fold up on uh, pellet fertilizer. Close that back down. So we've got 2,700. We still have about 2,000 liters-ish left in there. So I should be okay, I believe. Should be good to go. Sweet. All right, let's head over to the fields. Let's finish off these last couple fields, guys. Oh, man. I This is disappointing. <laughs> I, mean, I really can't complain too loud. He's giving me a pretty good deal on the lease. Uh, he understands my predicament. And plus, I, I've got a ticket to pay off for well, our little, little crashy crash yesterday. But uh, other than that, still, I'm driving a Stara. I thought I wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. But here I am. All right, what kind of width do we get off of the spray from the pellet fertilizer spreader? I have no clue on this one. Let's fire this up. All right, that looks to be about accurate. Man, this is uh, like 10 times slower than the John Deere 4045. This is so slow. This is, this is painful. This is so painful. Guys, this is like half the speed of the 4045. Oh, man. I wonder if it'd be faster if we sprayed with uh, liquid fertilizer. I wonder if there'd be a difference. I can't see it, but it seems like this is way too slow. The liquid fertilizer we were coming out before, we were doing like 20 miles an hour. Yeah, this is half speed for me. This is definitely slow. <laughs> um... Well, that's that's something, I guess. Oh, well. We gotta get this fertilized. There's not much else we can do, so... You know what? At least we're gonna have more than enough, it looks like, to get these two fields done. Uh, we've used all 2% up of our, our pellet fertilizer so far. 
So that's not bad. I'm tempted almost to go take this over and do the grass fields while we're at it. That might be something we could do with this. It'd be a pity if I, this ended up in the drink, wouldn't it? This thing doesn't even have a GPS unit, so I can't even really judge how far I've gone. Ah, what a piece of garbage. <laughs> it's so difficult doing fertilizing without GPS now. Um, yeah, with I can't tell. I have no idea. I'm just guesstimating what we've spread out. Uh, I have no way of telling. Just kind of sitting out in the field, just trying to guess exactly what kind of width we're spreading at. Yeah, can't tell at all. Fantastic. Guys, I, th I think this is the last pass. I, I really can't tell, but I think this is the last pass. Uh, just kind of guessing, just winging it as usual around K Sims Farms. Let's be honest here. This is uh, pretty much par for the course nowadays. Just kind of wing it and hope things work out. Otherwise, we're just kind of wasting. This we're not wasting very much. I mean, we're not using that much pellet fertilizer right now. That's kind of redonkulous in, in its sense. This is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Capisce redonkulous. You know what that means? I've used 10%. Now, I've only gone up and down this field four times, but you'd think it would have used more than 10%. No? It's not that big of a field. It's not even that big of a tank. I'm really kind of surprised. It feels like doing this even like by hand just over in the yard i go through more more than that in the yard it seems like just with like little hand fertilizing units feels like i go through like a whole bag of it <laughs> meanwhile we haven't gone through like that small little copper we got on this thing but i guess i shouldn't be complaining about that should i that's that's a good sign um maybe anyways there we go done turn this off up the hill we go and let's go over to i think which one's which again i think this is wheat the other one's barley. Yeah, the darker one's barley. The yellower one's wheat, usually. So let's go take care of that one next. It should be uh, relatively painless. And then what do I do with the extra fertilizer? I guess I'm going to have to empty this back out and then dump them all into uh, back into our into our silo, or, our silo. Yeah. Huh. I guess that's a thing. Okay. Set this on up. Fire it back up. And Bob's your uncle. Let's get going. Sweet. All right, one more field left to do today, guys. All right, guys, we've got lots of fertilizer left. I figure we might as well come over and do this grass field uh, one more time, at least before we have a chance to cut it. Looks like we got time. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's, let's uh, fertilize the snot out of this. We're out of the chute and uh, should be good. Look at this. Yeah, that's perfect. Fire that on up. Nice. We might as well, you know what? Maximize our grass. Uh, we'll probably be doing hay over here. I'm th that's what me thinks at least. Yeah, I think we got enough silage for now. And speaking of which, actually, we got to pack down that silage pit right away. That's kind of where we're going to next. But I needed to... I felt like, we you know what? We had we had fertilizer left in the tank. So we might as well use it up. And uh, this is a good field to take care of it on. It's one of our bigger grass fields. It's not huge by any means. But uh, we might as well take care of it with this. Now, we still need to figure out what we're going to do with the old fuel station up in the north there, guys. Or on the west side, I should say. Uh, I haven't decided yet. And I know we'll still we'll still come up with some plans. So if you guys got any thoughts? Put it down in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys down there. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what we get planned. We'll come up with something for sure. Uh, maybe some other maybe quick get rich quick schemes of some sort. We'll come up with something. Inform you of the passing of your distant relative and member of the Nigerian <laughs> royal family, Uncle Atumbe. Oh uh, man. Okay. Now I got to be careful on this hillside. That's for sure. We're not going to go down below there. That just seems like it's asking for it. Once again, last pass. So I think. Oh, we got some admirers out in the field. What's going on up there? Everyone's just watching what we're doing. All right. Hi, hi people. Hi. Hi. Uh, maybe they know I'm the one that crashed and they're here taking pictures to make sure I don't do it again. I don't know. Let's head back to the farm. We got some more projects left to take care of back there. All right, guys. For once... The Starro wasn't completely painful, painless, pain, painful, painful. You know what? It does what it needs to do. It, I just don't see the point on having both liquid and solid fertilizer in one of these units. Just pick one and then double up the capacity. That would make more sense in my mind. Yeah, this, it, it tries to do both and does neither well. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah. Stick with your focus. Focus. It, that goes for anything in life, doesn't it? You got to stick with your focus and do it perfectly instead of trying to try to multitask. Never works out well in your favor, does it? I think multitasking can be the detriment to a lot of things. 
All right, who am I kidding? Don't listen to me for life advice. Bad idea. Let's let's stop right there. Really, really bad idea. And speaking of bad ideas, I've got a, a silage pit I need to, to pack. And you know what? Yeah, you guys know what, right? <laughs> Drogosaurus needs to get some more work. Why not, right? Then we built this thing. Let's uh, put it to work. Now, I've gone and picked up something else for it to see if this might help us out. I have no idea. Guys, I don't really know what I'm going to use this truck for. This was just kind of a spur of the moment type purchase thingy majigger. Yeah. Um, but it seems like a great idea for maybe the silage pit. Now, I could use one of my tractors, but why would I waste my time with one of those? Well, we can use this. And we just have a bit of a silage packer on the back of it since we have a three-point hitch back there. I can use this for all sorts of other things around the farm. I'm sure, just dragging stuff around. But this seems like this might be the perfect job for Truckosaurus. Let's hop on in. Guys, I don't really know if this is going to work or not, to be perfectly honest. But why the heck not, right? Um, like, we could, like I said, use a tractor for it. But it just seems like unnecessary wear and tear on the tractor. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Where if we just use this old truck that's just sitting here, really not going to use it for, like, we're really not going to use this for planting. Let's be perfectly honest. It was fun to test it out to see if it could do it. And surprisingly enough, it did a better job than I think anyone would have expected. But now, well, we might as well pack with it, right? I think this makes perfect sense. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man, this should be um, something. I'm going to get so stuck. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. There we go. I almost should get the leveler out and level it down first. So one of the downfalls of this, guys, is we got the old brakes on this. And you can see that I'm struggling when I come down this hill. Like, it just... When I try to stop, I get too much speed up. And you can hear them just grinding away. Oh, man. Come on. Pack her on down. So I'm nervous. I am really, really, really nervous to go over top of that hill. Uh, I want to get this kind of corner down if I can a little bit. But if we go over top of this, I'm bound to be... Like, if I drop my axles over top of that, we're going to be stuck for sure. Um, but we're starting to flatten things out a little bit. Just want to push it down a bit further. Let's see. All right. So we back it over. Let's see if I can get back over top. Okay, that's not bad, guys. You know what? That actually worked out not too bad. I'm getting... I'm getting... I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm getting a little bit of trust in Truckosaurus here. Do we dare try to go all the way through? I think we should. Do we dare try to go all the way through? Oh, man. I'm going to try and stay on the top of the peak. Let's go. Hammer down. Go, 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 go. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm already stuck. Okay, we can't do that. But you know what? That worked out well because we were able to go forward really quite easily there. I'm going to stay up on top here and see if we can get it out. Yeah, no. Okay, maybe this might... We need to level this out somehow. I think we need to get a leveler, don't we? Oh, this is painful. Come on, let's see how far we can get. Not bad. Look at this. Okay, I'm kind of stuck again, but that's all right. So as long as we keep the, the duels up on the peak, then it seems to allow us to get some speed still. It's if we had, we were must have been bottoming out beforehand. Guys, this is not bad for a silage packer. I wouldn't have thought it would have done the whole way through, but guys, it's actually not too, too bad. Going forward, I wouldn't advise. I think we'd better off going backwards, but let's see what happens. If we can get back through this again. Here we go. Get up there. Come on. Get. Oh, we're losing traction. Yeah, see, that's not the way to do it. You need to go reverse. Oh, no, I'm so stuck. No, I'm stuck. I knew that was going to happen. I think we're better off going backwards, but let's see what happens. If we can get back through this again. Here we go. Ah, uh, darn it. All right, let me go get a piece of equipment. We'll pull this thing on out again. <laughs> sure wish I would have kept on, held on to that uh, telehandler now that we borrowed from Min. Um, guys, I don't know if the mass is going to be able to pull this thing out or not. She's going to be a little... Uh, might be a little bit much. We'll see. I don't know how what the weight of that, that Trachosaurus is now. I mean, it, this thing is not going to hold much, but it might be able just enough to get rid of it. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. I'm going to need to pull this back on down. I can't push it back up, that's for sure. We'll never get it up with this. Let's see if I can even lift with... Like, look at this. Oh, yeah. That's not good. 
Okay, let's uh, let's try the drag technique instead. Hopefully, hopefully this silage packer uh, is pretty strong. It should be strong enough to handle this. We'll just dive in with this. Try not to puncture my tires. Okay. Now drag her back down. There we go. All right. All right, well, that should be good. We should be able to get that out now at least. Let's drop this here. You know what? Okay. Food for thought. As long as we continue to go reverse into it every single time, uh, we should be able to get through this pit. All right. Go forward, straighten out, and then back her on up. All right. That looks, that works, that works. And now we just have to do this really wide turn. Oh, the brakes are so bad on this thing. All right, there we go. Okay, hammer down, hammer down, hammer down, hammer down. Actually, well, let's slow it down, slow it down. Let's see if we can kind of pack this like we did the other side as well. I'll just pack this one corner down a little bit. Get it so it's... Man, the brakes are so bad. Get it so it's somewhat of a ramp. Uh, a little bit better than what it is right now. Because that's why we got stuck right on the... Never mind. Right on the top again. Come on. There, that's better. <laughs> See, this is, this is working out. As long as we go reverse, guys. As long as we go reverse, we're we're golden. We're golden like the telehandler was. This is great. Okay. Now, we should be able to gas it and get through this whole thing. That's what I'm thinking. Ready? Here we go. Go, go, go. All the way up. All the way up. Come on. And keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, nope. It's like it ran out of power there. I thought we'd have more than enough horsepower. <laughs> But not quite. Okay, let's try it again. It's that peak is getting kind of knocked down, but just a little bit more. Let's go! Up we go! Oh, man, guys. Oh, still lots of packing left to do. Well, it took a little bit of doing, but we got through it, guys. Uh, we're just having no problems now. We can get through the whole thing, it looks like. And we're pretty much packed. I think we're ready to throw the tarp on it. Yeah, I think it's almost ready. Uh, but before we do, you know what? I might as well go and do the side pit here beside the smaller of the two. Uh, we might as well get them both going at the same time. There's no point in me waiting. Yeah, we'll do them both. I'll turn them both into silage right now. So we got like 450,000 liters in here. We must have another 350 in another one. So that's quite a bit of... Uh, we got a lot of silage out of this, guys. Now I just need to worry about the hay. That should do it for pit number two. Guys, this has, just doing by my math here, this has roughly 250,000 liters in this pit. 450, like that's 700,000 liters of silage. Um, and it's not even very full. Let's be honest here. Uh, so that's quite a bit. Let's pack this one down. Nice, there we go. Tarp is on. Get this one over here as well. Tarp is on. Excellent. So another day or so, we should have silage. Uh, look at that. 700,000 liters of silage, give or take. Let's go take a look at our numbers here quickly. So silage will be way up there. That is fantastic. It's, hey, we're going to be short of corn. Of course, it's going to be short, but we use the least amount of corn in our uh, in our TMR processor. The corn is only, I think, 20% off the top of my head. So that'll all equal out in the wash. Now, all we'll get rid of is the get rid of the star, I suppose, and hopefully get our sprayer back. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Drop a comment down below because it does help feed the algorithm. And folks, I'll catch you next time. From Georgetown with Truckosaurus, this is Glutch. Over and out. Oh, all right. Whoa! <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a thing. That happened. <laughs>